In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to enable desktop icons. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. The first one is to enable the icons for a single user. And then I will show you how to enable it for all the users on the computer. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to enable the desktop icons. And the only thing that this snippet does is create registry entries. For example, here you can see all the registry entries for all the icons, like this one is for the this PC icon, this one is for the control panel, and in this snippet I will be creating all of them, but you can modify this part right here to enable only the icons that you want. And the second part of the snippet is just for creating the registry entries. Basically, it takes the list that we have here, and then it creates the registry entries in the Windows registry. And now I will show you how this snippet works. And for that, I will click on the button right here to copy it. Then I will go to my VMware workstation because I will be enabling the desktop icons for this virtual machine. And here I will open my terminal application as administrator. And I will just insert the snippet here. Let's press enter. As you can see, currently we don't have the icons, but if I refresh, the icons appeared and that's basically it if you want to enable it for yourself or for a single user on the computer but it gets a bit more complicated if we want to enable it for all the users on the computer because the registry entries that i'm creating are created in the current user hive this means that we need to create these registry entries for each user on the computer if we want for them to have the desktop icons and for that we can use active setup but before we do that let's create another user account and let's sign into that user account. So to do that, I will enter into my command line net user, let's say John, and then let's give it a blank password and let's add add. And that should create a user account for me. Now let's sign out. Let's sign into the John account. And as you can see, I'm currently signed in as John and I don't have the desktop icons. And now I will go back to my admin user and I will be enabling the desktop icons for John from my admin user. And for that, I will be using active setup. Let's sign out once again. So I'll sign out from John and then go back to my admin user. And then let's go back to the GitHub page because here I have this other PowerShell snippet that I will be using to enable the desktop icons for all the users on the computer. And the first part of this snippet is identical to the first script. Basically here I'm creating the registry entries for a single user. And then the second part that I have here is for exporting the settings that I made for that single user into a registry file. And after that I'm configuring active setup to import that registry file for each user on the computer once during the logon process. And that means that whatever changes I'm making here will be replicated to all of the users during the logon process. And if you want to know more about how Active Setup works, you can check out the videos that I have here. Anyways, now I'll demonstrate how this snippet works and for that I will click on the button right here to copy it. Then I will go back to my VMware workstation, open my terminal application as administrator and I will insert the snippet into the terminal. Let's press enter. And it seems that it executed the command successfully. So let's now look around and see what happened. So first I will go to my registry. So let's go to the start menu and registry editor. Click yes here. Let's go to the local machine software, Microsoft and active setup, installed components. And we have the active setup registry key here that was created by the script import desktop icons. If I click on it, here we have the stub path and whatever we have in our stub paths value will be executed for each user on the computer once during the logon process. And as you can see, it's only a reg import command that imports this file right here. I will click on it and then I will copy the directory. And now let's open the file explorer and let's go there. And as you can see, this is a registry file that was created by that snippet. If I try to open it with Visual Studio Code, we can see all the registries that this file will modify 
when uh, it will be executed for the users. Anyways, let's go back to the journey user and let's see if it works. So let's close everything here. Then let's sign out from the admin user. And let's sign into the journey user. And as you can see, we have the desktop icons here. And that means that Active Setup executed everything successfully. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.